Hey there, internet. My name is Daniel, and I'm a structural engineer who graduated college two years ago. I'm making today's video to share with you some things I learned uh, after getting my first job, after around my first year at my first job. Here are some tips that I picked, so let's jump straight in. Firstly, congrats on getting your first job. You're there, you made it. You signed the paperwork and you're ready to start your first day. The first thing you gotta do is be on time. Just like you were on time for your interview and that landed you this position, be on time your first day. I try to be at least 30 minutes earlier than the starting time. So let's say my company starts nine o'clock. I try being there at 8.30. And by being the first one there, I come in with a level head, I'm not rushing, and also sets a good precedent. So the first day especially, be on time, know your routes, know if there's any traffic or anything that might come up that will make you late. Try to avoid that. If it takes you an hour, maybe set an hour and a half to get to work, to get to work a half hour early. So tip number one is be on time. Number two, greet everyone respectfully. You're gonna be meeting a lot of new people and a lot of new faces. Keep it as formal as possible until proven otherwise. So if someone says, hey, this is Jamie Smith, you say, oh, great to meet you, Mr. Smith. Unless they say, call you Jamie, it's Mr. Smith. Unless someone says it's, you call them by their first name, use their second, the last name, their proper full name, just to be safe. It never hurts. Number three, ask about the work aspect of the job and not the perks. So don't ask about your breaks, your vacations, especially not like the first day of the first week. Uh, you'll know that in your manual or the people will tell you that. But if by asking that right off the bat, it comes across as that's what you're going for your job for instead of the work aspect. So try to keep your questions work related. Number four is dress professionally. Now yes, getting dressed is earlier in the day, but I only added it now, so I'm sorry. But dress professionally. It's a lot easier to go from business professional to business casual than vice versa. If you're going out to a site and you need boots, bring them in a separate bag, and then when you go to the site, you should change. Obviously, every company is slightly different, but from my experience, uh, I dressed professionally until proven otherwise. Number five is take the training seriously. Now. Every company you go to is gonna have an onboarding protocol and a lot of these onboarding protocols can be boring. I don't know why I did air quotes, they can be boring. You're sitting there just watching safety videos of how to use a microwave, it can be dull. But a lot of these tips actually are very useful later down the line and when you, let's say you go to a site you need to operate some machinery or whatever it is and you should have known these safety protocols that your company had, you're gonna be the one knowledgeable and know all these things. So take your onboarding seriously. Number six, and this especially applies to people who grew up with smartphones, keep your phone away. Keep your phone off your desk. If people walk by your desk and see your phone on your desk, even if you're not using it or, not, or just using it for music or whatever you're using it for, people see a phone and they don't know what you're doing, so they associate it poorly. Just keep it out of sight, out of mind. I wanted to add on to the phone policy. Uh, this applies as well to companies, computers, and company resources. Don't use company resources, computers, laptops, whatever it is for other private use. Use it only for your company's business work, because that is why they gave it to you. Number seven. Every day before you leave, go to your manager or supervisor and say, I did X, Y, and Z today, and do you need me to do anything else? This not only shows that you're taking initiative, but will also open you up to future responsibility and opportunities. Number seven and a half. So I like to also do this before I start my day, just to start my day off the right foot and say, hey, you know, this is my battle plan for today. I'm planning on working on this project, this project, this project. Uh, I'm gonna do this and this for each of these projects. Is that okay or did you have something else in mind? This just gets you started off on the right foot. So I thought I'd throw it in as an extra tip. Number eight, engage with more senior personnel in your office. They know more than you do, they've been there for longer, and they have a lot to offer. You don't know what you don't know. So be an information sponge, and whatever they say, all the bits of wisdom that they have to offer, just soak it in. Um, another tip is I like to have a notebook on hand, either after a meeting, you kind of write down, jot down all your thoughts, any questions you may have, and this kind of just is helpful to reference. If, you know, afterwards you could talk with someone else, hey, you know, I didn't understand this, I have some questions. Or at the end of the day, or in the future, you can reference, oh yeah, I actually remember someone telling me this, and you go back to your notebook that you have, and you could just look it up. So I hope that these tips I shared with you were helpful and will help you start your career on the right foot. Remember, you're gonna be with these people for a while, so just smile, be friendly, uh, be yourself, and just stay civil.
See you.